Hi guys, so here I am in uh, Modchu's head office uh, with the legend that is Mr. Andy Lindsay. Is there someone else here? No, 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 it's you. <laughs> and I thought, why not do an interview with Andy? Because uh, he's always doing the talking. So I thought, <laughs> let, let him shut up for a minute and uh, let me interview him. So, I mean, we've known each other for a long time, haven't we? It seems it seemed like a lifetime. I don't, <laughs> well, don't say that. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I mean, you, you're on the mod scene. I was on the mod scene. You're yeah. from Cambridge. Yeah. I briefly lived in Cambridge. So I've, I've known you and seen you about for years. And, and I used to see you at scooter rallies and at Paul Sortel's dues with yeah, your yeah. table yep. with a few little mod shoes on Very there. Very early doors. Very early doors. So, so what made you get into mod shoes? How did it all start? The, the story with mod shoes is it's a really simple one. I got to about 40. Uh, been in bands and all of that sort of stuff. What, a year ago? Uh, yeah, yeah, very nice. Very good. Uh, um, and um, I'd spent most of my 30s and early 40s, Adidas, white jeans, Fred Perry, jumping up and down in the replicas and having a great time. It was yeah. all right. Yeah. But we'd, I'd got to sort of my early 40s and I went, it's time to tidy up. You know, I, you know, it was that bit in my life where I was thinking, I want my jeans to fit. I yeah. want them to be turned up right. I want everything to sort of, I want to tidy myself up yeah. and stop being a raver as well. And I wanted a pair of decent brogues. Right. And I was looking for Lokes. And at the time, Delicious Junction, they were 150 quid. Delicious Junction was 75. What was the difference? And it was yeah. answering that question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the dog you see down there, yes. who well, you can't see on the screen, <laughs> I was walking him and muttering to myself, somebody should write a website where they say, why is that? 150 pound, and why yeah. is that 75 quid? Is that and, it when was that. and you did a video. I remember watching your video uh, Years ago, about basically brogues. Yeah, we did. I went, one of the first ones we did was me and Big Paul. Yeah. Uh, um, and we um, we did it, and we did four loafers. We borrowed one. One was his pair, <laughs> and we and, and this, and that's been watched something ridiculous like twenty thousand times. So, so people really were interested in the. The funny thing was, we got we have a mutual friend, me and Paul, and two incidents happened to, to us. One, he uh, a mutual friend came in and saw her husband go, why are you watching a video <laughs> of Paul and Andy talk about loafers? Yeah, yeah. Because it's interesting. Yeah. And Paul was in Nottingham at a mod do, and somebody kept kind of following him to the toilet, which was a bit un unsettling. Yeah. And they said, don't I know you? And, and he said, well, yeah, yeah, you was on that mod shoes thing, weren't you? So and he went, and so Paul was like, yeah, I was. <laughs> <laughs> so, so how did that then turn into the business that it is today? Because you're now doing men's shoes and ladies' shoes. Yeah, so if you fast forward through it, basically, me and me, I was doing website design yep. uh, for a living. I kind of knew people were searching for the term mod shoes because I. So this of my is background. why you called it mod shoes. Yeah, 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 yeah for more, very definitely. I mean, it's, there was an old, what you call an SEO trick. So if you wanted to, um, we did a website called Pink BMXs. All oh, right. And if you wanted to get top of page one on Google, you used to be able to register the domain name. And you would more or less get to top of page one of Google without any right. effort. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I knew my shoes was being searched on and I knew that there was an audience. And right. I kind of knew if there was enough numbers of people searching for that, I could sell something. Uh, and it was going to pay for a holiday. Uh, and that was as far as it was going to go. a little hobby to start with. Yeah. And then from shoes, you then went into clothing. Because I yeah, remember yeah, yeah. when I used to come and see you, you would photograph a pair of shoes with your Fred Perry and your pair of jeans. Yeah. And I said to you, well, why don't you use my samples? Yeah. And we, we started to do that. And then you thought, well, why don't I start selling clothes? Well, no, it's, it's funny you mentioned lady shoes and, and clothing. You know, I was adamant I wasn't going to do women's shoes. <laughs> then, then, then we found them. Yeah. But I was adamant that we weren't going to do clothes. And, um, and, and I remember. Kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think, I think the thing was, is I thought it was important that we got really good at something. And... And we got lucky with those Shelby boots. Yeah. Me and you both watched Peaky Blinders yeah. that first night, and I think yeah. we found each other almost the next day and said, how good was that? Yeah, 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 yeah. And that was a turning point. That was where, when we started doing those, and we sold quite a few of those. They're a yeah. gorgeous boot. Yeah, 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 and, yeah. And I think no one else was doing it at the time, really. No. And uh, they really sort of caught on. I know I started selling tweed suits and Peaky Blinders. It was hats, massive, wasn't it? And you were selling the boots. And yeah. you started to do the suits, didn't you? To yeah, go yeah. with the boots. But, but remember, though, with, can I borrow that? Yes. The, the subtle difference is you'll still see that there's lots of boots out there, but they mm. tend to be English ones. Yes. This is very much a pointed and thing on. Yeah. And that's the, the, the thing about modules. Yeah. And you know, I'm yeah. quite, 
I can't use that word. I'm quite OCD. OCD, be, yeah, OCD about how. <laughs> I know the word be. you're thinking of. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm quite OCD about how yeah. things should be. Uh, let me look down the lens. So look, look, I'm quite. You know, like You've that gone has into a salesman mode. Yeah, so distinct shape. Yeah. Now, certain other makes still sell a broke boot. You can buy a broke boot for lots yeah, yeah, of people, yeah, yeah. but they ain't got that shape. So you will go to the factory. I mean, you actually are um, so hands on. You will get on a plane. Yeah. yeah. Go to the the factory. And, yeah, yeah, of and course. Tell them exactly what you want. Yeah, but why not? Well, I don't know. I mean, so there's an old business adage. Um, my my um, wife's old. Um, uh, not our old her dad said there's something to say if you literally turn up at the factory they love that yeah yeah and yeah. it's and more importantly when you go there you can see what it's like yeah, yeah. And you see the quality and you can yeah. see what's going on and, and all the things that you want to feel comfortable when you come to sell stuff yeah and you can describe exactly what you want face to face rather yeah, yeah. than on an email or whatever yeah and, and i think a lot of people think it's easy oh it must be easy and it's all this it's yeah. not. Sometimes you you know you're in the middle of nowhere and you're like you can't even find this factory. Yeah. You know, you're like you're like you're talking to someone who can't speak English. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's kind of the fun. I, yeah, I well, like it's that. The attention to detail, isn't it? So, yeah, it's the adventure. So song. we're in autumn winter now. Yeah. What's happening next year, spring summer twenty three? Well, next summer I've got more of these coming. I don't know oh, if they've okay. got that. I can show that on that camera. The um, I love these. I've wanted to do this kind of style for a long while. Um. I don't. We're called smart shoes for smart people. That's one of our. I was going to mention that because yeah. obviously lockdown turned and people went. They oh, yeah. dressed more casually. Yeah. But I think people are starting to to dress smarter. Yeah, I think there's also an instance as well. The internet allows us a situation where we can. How can we explain? We can find things you can't find on the high street. Yeah. Yeah. And more importantly, it allows us to be a bit more niche. Yeah. You know, yeah. and now. Are these smart? Well, they're not unsmart. They're no. not smart like that. Smart. You yeah. wear that with a yeah, suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you wear that. You are different to everybody else yeah. who's probably in the pub or walking yeah. down the road. Yeah. You, you, you've yeah, considered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. To me, everything is considered. Yes. No, absolutely. Do, you, do, can, do, you can do you tell that. Yeah. And you, like you say, you're not going to be able to get that on the high street. It's no. going to be something different. Yeah. And, and, and some of the what... stuff we've got coming through next year, it's 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 a bit of a surf thing going on. Yep. Yeah, yeah um, yep. which I'm really, I kind of like, yep. just to differentiate us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, everybody yeah. else is doing sort of stripy tops. I want, I want something else. Okay. So okay. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Okay. Well, there was a, a brief history of, <laughs> uh, of mod shoes. So, uh, Andy, thank you. No, no, thank you. No, oh, thank you. I, mean, <laughs> I, I did get a word in HMA, so that was all right. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah thanks for coming, Andy. And uh, we'll see you soon. We'll see Cheers you for now. soon.